So results day is next week. Yay! I'm so excited. And I thought this would be a perfect time to upload and film my photography video. Um, as I said in my looking over my old artwork, I wanted to do a video uh, showing you some of my photography work and just talking you through what we did and what's in each unit and if you want to do photography at A level and what's to be expected. So I'm just going to talk about a bit and then show you some of my work. Now I obviously don't have all of my work because um, two of my units are still at college and they're marking them and that's going to be my other half of my grade but I do have uh, my unit one and two and I'm just going to be talking about it and showing you stuff. So, so the course is two years if you didn't know and you do four units in total, two for each year and each kind of unit is marked out of 80 I believe. The highest you can get for AS level which is the first year is an A and then for A2 you can get an A star and they all kind of jumble together. So for unit one uh, we just went through basics like exposures, pinhole, photography, scanography, dark room work, cyanotypes, and just all that jazz. And then, um, which was fun, but I probably could have done a lot better and been a bit more serious about my work. I would just like to say, my college, sixth form, sixth form college, had a lot of um, things for us to use, like equipment. Like we had a dark room. We had Photoshop, which a lot of photography rooms would have. Um, we had loads of different types of cameras. We had film cameras. We had um, little different flashes. We had loads and loads of different things. And we lived, we were situated in an area where you could take a lot of like environmenty pictures. But we just went through basics, and that was quite fun. Um, and then we actually went on to a topic called self portrait, where I ended up using socks and face painting which was inspired by this artist's work and it's really weird and I look back and cringe and go oh. but some of them are quite cool and then we did a photo essay which is kind of like the final piece and I basically, what mine is, I, st I kind of um, it's about environment and I took photos around where I live, so the countryside and then moved out and showed how it changes for a lot of those pictures I would have gotten rid of I look through them now and think Oh my god, it's horrible. But you know, what can I do? Um, and to get kind of good grades, you have to do a lot of experimenting and use a range of techniques, which I learnt. Um, you have to, you know, even if you're not going to use it for your final piece, just experiment with it. Like, if you're not going to use film, just bung it in. That's what I did. I just bunged in film and um, portraits and overlapping stuff. Um, just experiment and you have to annotate. In my lesson, you have to annotate. A lot of people don't have to, but we had to, like, you know, just so if they looked at it, they need to know what was going in your head. If you know what I mean. And for this unit, I overall got a B, which I was very surprised about, because I thought it was crap. Literally, I hated it. I thought it was terrible. And I got a B because I didn't add in some of, like, you know, the cyanotypes and scanographies and all that jazz in the uh, photo essay and self-portrait thing. Um, so that's why. So that's that unit. Um, we had really weird books for this unit. I just oh, hated it. Um, I'm not going to show you every single page. I'm just going to show you random bits and just bits and bobs. So I hope you enjoy.
2, which one now, was honestly my favourite work I've done. Um, it's a really full book, it's really heavy. But this one we had to, we had like these topics given to us, like um, there was creative use of light that I went for and like mixed media and stuff, there's loads of different ones. And then you had to kind of choose your own thing within that topic. So I did creative use of light and I ended up doing light drawings. For this one I did loads and loads of shoots and loads and loads of experimenting on Photoshop. Um, which I was really happy with the results and I thought the images were quite cool. And for this one we had to create a final piece. Which I ended up using like a little book. Which so you know you can do anything for your final piece. You can do a 3D piece. You can do like a video. You can do um, posters. You can do a book, a box of images, you can do anything and throughout I ended up doing three different types of presentations which I was quite happy with um, and for this unit I ended up getting an A which I was really happy about because I spent ages on it it just took me forever to edit the images because I don't have Photoshop at home I had to get the like you know three month for free thing so I had to do a lot in a short amount of time but I'm super happy with this unit so that's unit two and I'm going to show you some of my work which to be honest with you I kind of want to show you more of this stuff so I might show you more. Um, but I hope you enjoy my book. two units which I did this year and I haven't got them with me obviously because they'll you know be moderated and marked and but unit three we didn't have like a main topic to pick from we just basically just picked it we just thought what did we want to do and we picked it and I ended up doing I don't really know what I called it but I'm gonna call it creative destroying methods um Basically, I just use film cameras and kind of um, dark room developed images and basically just bleached them, scratched them, burnt them. And I actually really loved the outcome of most of my images. Um, it didn't really change that much, um, like my Unit 2 work did, but I just did different experimentations, different ways. I even cooked film, I boiled it. I um, just did loads of different things. Uh, during the two years, you do kind of get familiar and recognise what type of photography you're a fan of. Um, and a lot of my friends or, you know, people I knew stuck to it. Like, someone liked nature and birds, we stuck to that. Some people liked landscapes, some people liked fashion photography. I liked doing creative stuff on my pictures. And, you know, you kind of stuck to it. Um, but just did different variations of it and I can't even remember a lot of this you do, we did end up having like loads of discussions in class we ended up having to do like, we actually had to kind of do like a fake exhibition thing and like we stuck them out along the corridors outside and then the teachers would come and we would have a talk about it which was a bit awkward I was like, here's my picture hope you enjoy um, we once again had to do a final piece for this, I was going to do a book, but my teacher was like, no 
worry me, we could do something different. Because mine was meant to be messy and ugh and grungy. So I ended up doing a little box, which this unit that I'm talking about, I've done a video on. I did a kind of photography deadline vlog thing. So if you would like to see any of the actual kind of images or any of the book, look at that video. I'll probably put it down below. Um, but I made like a little box. I then got the pictures sent off, I think. And then... Um, kind of stuck them together so it made like a story and you pulled it out and it was all scratched and burnt and stuff like that um, this project by the way was my most expensive project because I had to buy loads of um, you know get it all sent off get loads of um, film cartridge things photography can be an expensive subject like it depends where you go though to be honest with you finally for unit 4 which to be honest with you was my kind of most uh, topic um, we got to once again choose from like a selection of subjects. I chose mixed media, which is very broad, and you can do whatever you want really in it. A lot of people ended up doing that one, and I ended up picking sewing um, overall, which I wanted to do for ages, like sewing into images. I've always wanted to kind of do that because I thought it looked really interesting and it gave it texture and it looks really cool. Um, I wasn't really 100% happy with the unit. I think everyone in my class felt a bit mm, about their work. Like literally everyone. No one could be bothered. And I'm a bit about it. I didn't really like it that much. Um, especially with the final piece, which I got really annoyed about and I was panicking. And I ended up, it's on my Instagram, I think. I ended up doing like a kind of mobile, hangy uppy, 3D thing. Uh, so that's all I've got to say, really. I think overall I did enjoy photography and um, even though it was very challenging to think of new ideas, um, kind of develop ideas every single week, do a shoot every single week and you just have to be able to have a lot of time to do the shoots and try and get images nicely, um, which can be stressful sometimes, I'm not going to lie. And I just, it is a bit, mm, great, there's a fly in my room. So I just wanted to say, I hope you enjoyed the video, and um, if, when I get my stuff back, and if you want me to, I will show you some of my Unit 3 and Unit 4 work, uh, but I hope you enjoy it, and good luck to everyone who's getting results, and I'll see you next week, bye!